Welcome everyone, Murray and Jay 8 This is my continued E3 2014 press conference coverage. We have done everything up until now. We did Microsoft, EA, Ubisoft, we did Sony, and I just got done watching the Nintendo Direct video feed. And we are going to be recapping it and going over that. I made some notes, I made some highlights, some things I want to talk about. And then I'm going to say this again, if you're just tuning in. I will be doing a full-on E3 podcast on the last day of E3, probably Thursday night. We're going to recap every single day. We're going to recap every press conference. We're going to talk about um, you know, my first impressions, what I thought of E3, how I rated it. We're going to be doing live callers. We're going to be doing um, live uh, Twitter questions, Twitter feed questions, um, Google Plus questions, YouTube comment questions, everything. That'll be my sign-off for E3 this year. That'll be my full-on podcast. I hope you join me. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be insane. This is just going to be a recap if you didn't see the direct and you want to know um, all the highlights and what you missed. Okay? So we're going to get right into it. <clears throat> the Nintendo Direct started off with an awesome animation. Um, it was a fake press conference animation with um, Iwata versus Reggie. It was kind of neat. Uh, they showed off the new NFC figurines. They are actually calling them Amobis. Okay? Toys to Life, also coming to Mario Kart, will first come to Smash Brothers. They showed off uh, Smash Brothers. They showed off the figurines, the Amobi figurines, actually touching the gamepad and syncing the information into the game. So if you have an Amobi figure and you put it on your gamepad, you'll get that figure and all its special abilities in Smash Brothers. And like they said, they're going to be implementing that into more games in the future, starting with Mario Kart. They also showed themselves using their own Miis in Smash Brothers. Uh, with Mii Fighters, anyone can join the battle, and they're supposed to have their own unique fighting styles. And uh, the Miis are supposed to be a huge, huge part of Smash Brothers. So I thought that was kind of neat. They did show the 3DS version. Uh, fighters will come in three variants with different skill sets. The bad news is, is that it has been delayed. Not too bad. It was supposed to come out in the summer. It is now coming out October 3rd. The Wii U version of Smash Brothers will still be coming out holiday of this year. Okay, they announced a new game, Yoshi's Woolly World. It was revealed, and it kind of reminded me, I put a note here, kind of reminded me of Kirby's Epic Yarn. Definitely cool looking, it, it definitely has a neat style. They kind of went behind the scenes, showed the game developers, showed them how they actually, you know, brought the game to life. They showed the production of the game, which I thought was kind of neat for people that are interested in that. And uh, the whole development process. So that was pretty cool. Another new announcement revealed. C Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker. <clears throat> wow. Toad's first game on his own. That's awesome. He's got his own game now. So that's pretty cool. Definitely be checking that out. They did show some footage of it. Looks pretty cool. Then they did a kind of another animated uh, scene of um, Bowser and, and Princess animation. It was kind of funny. They did that throughout the direct. I thought that was kind of neat. Uh, and then we saw that Zelda logo come down, and I was uh, excited. The Legend of Zelda Wii U, a open world, a connected world. You decide where to go and what to do first. Gorgeous, vast world coming in 2015. So, Zelda, The Legend of Zelda Wii U is coming in 2015. I guess we don't have an exact name. As of right now, they're just calling it um, The Legend of Zelda Wii U. I don't know if it's going to actually get a name or not, but it is coming. I was I was hoping holiday this year because I know they've been working on that title for a long time, but I could kind of understand why it's taking so long because I had no idea a, a open world Zelda game is going to be absolutely insane. It's like you know Skyrim meets Zelda. I I could tell you this though I I guarantee you when that game comes out it's going to be phenomenal and I'm glad that they're taking their time with it because it looks like they're really trying to perfect it especially now that it's open world because that's just going to be insane it's no more linear paths so that's going to bring a whole new dimension to Zelda in my opinion I can't wait to see the final product it definitely will be my game of the year a game to watch out for in a 2015 new Pokemon trailers were shown for Omega Ruby Red and Alpha Sapphire it is coming out with a release date of November 21st <clears throat> Star Fox uh, versus Little Mac, funny little animation again, kind of neat. They were quite humorous on this Nintendo Direct. I thought that was kind of neat, a little added touch of humor. Um, 
Bayonetta 2 trailer was shown with a release date of October 2014. Of course, they went right into Zelda Hyrule Warriors, which I did want to know more about. They talked about some info. They announced playable characters. They showed some game footage. Um, they talked about everybody will have their own amazing moves. That is coming out September 26th. A new Kirby game was announced. Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. They did show off some of it. It looked pretty cool. That game will be coming out also in 2015. So a lot of 2015 games for Nintendo. But we kind of expected that. Um, Xenoblade Chronicles X will also be coming out in 2015. They did show off some of that game. Uh, they revealed a new game, which they're calling... Well, not a game, an actual, I guess, an app. Mario Maker for the Wii U. Make your own levels. Classic and Wii U-style levels. So you could do it in the style of the Wii U or the style of, like, the NES or Super NES. And they actually showed you... Um, the developers using the gamepad with the stylus actually making the own levels and then somebody going through them <clears throat> and playing them. I guess it'll be like uh, Little Big Planet where you could share the levels or like Project Spark where the community creations they could go on, they could test out your level, they could play them and you design them. So that that looks very interesting. There really wasn't that much information about it as far as you know what you can and can't do or release dates or time you know time window when they expect this game to come out they didn't really talk about that it was just a reveal and kind of like a teaser trailer brand new IP is coming to Nintendo called Splatoon the protagonist is a squid it will have four player teams you splatter ink uh, I put a note here kind of reminded me of Plants vs Zombies meets meets De Blob that is coming out in 2015 it does look quite fun um, Reggie fils came back out. He said, thank you for watching. We're closing up the show. Um, ends direct with a Smash Brothers fight scene with Link and Kid Icarus. And then shows a new challenger, Palutina. Uh, Miyamoto came back on uh, by his computer and talked about that he is also working on some more games. And he is trying to um, use the gamepad in unique and different ways. And a lot of the games that he is working on will be taking the gamepad using you know the advantages of the gamepad so that should be interesting to see how that pans out so basically pretty much ends with you know letting you know that he's busy working on things and uh, the Wii U is the Wii U gamepad is well and alive and uh, is being developed for basically overall what did I think of this uh, Nintendo Direct I thought it was pretty good um, you know, Zelda Wii U is what we wanted to see, and that's exactly what we got. I'm also now hearing information that <clears throat> Miyamoto is working on a new Star Fox. So that is cool. And uh, I definitely can't wait to check out these um, Amiibo figures, which will be releasing holiday 2014 along with Smash Brothers for the Wii U. So um, to me, it looks like they're probably going to be coming out the same day. So whenever Smash Bros. comes out, it looks like these Amobi figures will be coming out as well. Um, I don't know how that's going to work. Are they going to make some kind of like a bundle? They're probably going to have a Wii U bundle with Smash Brothers and some of the figures. That would be kind of neat. Or, or maybe just for existing Wii U owners. I'm thinking maybe the Smash Brothers game with like maybe a character or two. They did not say how many characters will be releasing at launch. How many characters in total they're planning on making. Um, what exactly each character does. Although Reggie fils did say to tune back throughout E3 on Nintendo's channel and on Nintendo's YouTube channel, they said that they will be talking more about Amobi figures and going into detail um, further. So I definitely will be checking that out and maybe I'll uh, cover some of that news on here as well. Because I'm kind of interested in that. It's kind of like what Skylanders and uh, Disney Infinity did. So, and you know, and uh, it's be interesting to see how what they do with the Mario Kart with that as well. <clears throat> Thank you for joining me. This is my Nintendo Direct E3 press conference recap. Again, please join me on Thursday where we'll be having a live podcast with full E3 coverage of everything that we've seen. I'm going to go back to the uh, stage floor and watch some more demos being played of games. I will be reporting back to you throughout the week. Thanks for joining me. Again, I will see you soon. Take care.